Hello, this is Mr. Cozy, and uh, I'm going to walk you through the first few steps of this uh, Sports Leaks case study. So what, what we, we have here is uh, a table representing uh, the, the salaries of players from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different sports leagues. And uh, rather than having direct access to the data, we have a, a frequency dis distribution for each league. These are our categories. And uh, the number of players from each league that fall within each category. And from this, um, we want to uh, answer a number of questions comparing uh, the, 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 the salaries in the, the, the different leagues. Okay. Now, the wrinkle here is because we don't have direct access to the data, uh, we can't just add up all, all the numbers and divide by how many um, because we don't know precisely what the numbers are. So um, every everything that we're about to do is an estimate, but it's as good as we can can get with with what we have in front of us. And this is this is a frequent problem in statistics. You you don't have direct access to the data you 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 have a table or or some other um uh pre presentation of it and you have to to use that to arrive at your conclusions okay now the strategy that we will take is we'll assume that everybody in each category earns the middle amount of money in that category so um, every everybody in this category will will assume earns two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Everybody in this category will assume assume earns one point two two five million dollars, and and so on. Okay, and that's not a perfect assumption, but it's good enough to give us a decent estimate okay uh, so what i'm going to do here is i'm i'm going to walk you through com completing uh, these four columns total average and then standard deviation the variance is a a, 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 a stepping stone um, I'll do it for the first three leagues, and then you can do do the rest. And with that inf information, you can answer the questions on this sheet. Okay? Um, I am going to go kind of quickly, so uh, feel free to, or at least quick for me, but uh, feel free to to pause me at any time. I won't mind at all, and. Um, uh, I'll wait for once. So here we go. Uh, to get the the total of all of the the salaries for each league, we have to multiply the number of of people in each category with uh, the number that that we're assuming they they earn. Uh, so t we're going to as assume that all 299 people in Major L League Baseball earn $250,000. We're, we're going to assume that all 207 um, uh, uh, people earn $1.25 million and so on. And there's, there's actually a really slick um, formula that will do that for for you, so let's. I'm going to click over over here in cell H3, under t uh, under the the total column. I'm going to hit e equals to let the spreadsheet know that I'm s starting a calculation, and I'm going to type in sum product. And what this will do is, um, it, I'll pr 
provide it two sets of numbers. It'll multiply the corresponding numbers together and add them all up, which is exactly what I need to do here. Uh, so I'm going to select all of my midpoints because I'm assuming that everybody in each category earns the same amount of money. I'm going to hit a comma. Then I'm, I'm going to select all of the, of the people in each category. Close paren and hit enter, and that's my total. Now this is money, so I should go over here and make this look like money. Okay, and that button is right there, currency. I'm going to click click that, and that's my currency. Okay, now um, if I have my total, the, the average is really easy. That's equal to the total divided by the number of players in that league. So H3 divided by G3, and hit enter, and that's the 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 average s s salary for a, a, a person playing baseball. Now, um, to find the variance, which is my stepping stone to my standard deviation, it's similar to to this um, sum product for to for the the total, um, but I've got to jump through some hoops because if you remember, you get the variance by taking each piece of uh, uh, of data, subtracting the mean, squaring that amount, and then averaging all of those squared deviations together. Okay. Um, so I'm still going to do a sum product because I, I need to to take each category, whatever that number is, and multiply it with the number of people in that category. But I've, I've got to, to jump through some hoops to get the number that I need. So in my variance column, I'm going to hit equals sum product, parenthesis. And um, I'm going to actually uh, start a second set of parentheses here because I need to do a calculation. I'm going to choose all of my midpoints. Then I'm going to subtract from each of those midpoints my average. Okay, so that's my deviation for each category. And then I'm going to close parens because for the variance, we use the squared deviation. Okay, so that those are my squared deviations for each category. And then comma, I'm going to mul multiply each of those with the number of, of, of people in each category. Okay, and that's the sum of all of, of my squared deviations. I need an average for variance. I'm going to divide by the number of players in that league. So there's a lot of, mo of moving parts in this formula. Let's hit enter. And you are going to get a very large number. That's fine because these are squared. What we want is the standard deviation equals SQRT. Standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So just take the square root of the variance, hit enter. I'm going to put this in money. And that's my standard deviation. Okay. Now I'm basically going to repeat these calculations for for each row. The problem is that um, I can't just like those 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 of you that know something about uh, spreadsheets knows knows that things can can be copied and pasted. The the pr problem is that if you do that, I need to, I need these midpoints up here and if I copy and paste it shifts everything down okay now there 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 are ways around that um, one way is just to to do it again because it, it doesn't take long uh, total salary is some product paren and I'm gonna do my midpoints comma the numbers in in, in each except that I, I I'm in soccer now now, if if you if you don't have a mouse and you're 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 using a trackpad, uh, dragging and uh, clicking and dragging can can be tricky. Let me me show you how to do this with the keyboard. Take your trackpad and click on the leftmost cell. 
Okay, now hold shift and, and hit um, right arrow and you'll select the section that you want. Okay, so you can, can click once and then use shift and the, the air, arrow keys to select the range that you want to use. Close parens or or not it it will, will do it for me so that's the sum for soccer I'm going to take that average or that total and divide it by the number of players for my average for the variance it's once again a sum product two sets of parens where I take all of the midpoints I subtract the average for soccer, close paren, and I want to square that and mul multiply each of those squared deviations by the number of, uh, of soccer players. Okay, and then I need, I need the average amount, so I divide that by the number of players in soccer. Okay, and uh, now squ square root, this is one cell that I can just copy and paste. Thank God. Okay, so um, I'll do this ne this next one, and then you can you guys can do the rest. Um, for N NBA, okay, sum product uh, select my midpoints, comma, select the number of people. Oops, select the number of people. I'm going to use my arrow, arrow arrow keys for this that are in each category, close paren, format that like money, okay, two billion dollars. Now average, average is also one that I can copy and paste with, with impunity, okay. Variance though, I will need to type it in, in again. So two sets of parens, I want to take each of, of the midpoints, I want to subtract each with the average for basketball, close paren, square that amount, comma, select the number of people in each category, and divide by the number of players because it's the average squared deviation. It's once again a very large number, but I can copy and, and paste for, for the square root. Okay, so that should get, get you started. Um, complete the other leagues in the same way. And uh, then you can answer the questions, these qu questions here. Um, when you answer the questions, make, make sure that you cite the results from the sheet and that you only cite the relevant results. Every year I get uh, uh, someone who, who, who thinks they are clever and they just take a screenshot of the whole stupid thing and then they, they paste and like, oh, see, I got it. Everything's there. You're good. Everything's fine. No, one of the, th one of the jobs, uh, when, when you do a write-up like this for a class or for a job, it's, it's, it's on you to pull the information together for your reader. So go and pull the information together. Um, so for, to answer question one, I need the totals for each league. Now what you can do is you can take a, a screenshot of just the, re, the rel, rel, relevant column. That's fine. I'll, I'll buy that and then you, you can answer your questions. Okay, but see this this doesn't have the leaks. So actually, what I need to do, if I want to do a, a screenshot, and now we're we're up, approaching, you know, what's what's the best use of our time? Maybe I, I I should should just copy these into into this thing myself. Um, but I what if if I want to to do a screenshot? Like I need to, to, I want the leagues and the salaries without this, this information in the middle. So I've got to click on the columns up here, hold down shift to select this range and then right click and hide these, these, the, these columns 
so that I have a screenshot that has the totals and the leagues side by side uh, so that when you, when you answer the question, the answer is obvious from the data. Okay. All right. So that's, uh, that's, that's all I have for you. Um, we will tackle this. Uh, this is the, the last assignment for this week. We'll probably talk about it in office hours and, uh, yeah, I look forward to, to, to seeing what you have.